A deficiency judgment is when the banks have taken a loss either through a foreclosure or even on a short sale and they're going to go ahead and sue you in a court of law and obtain a judgment against you for that money. Different states have different laws that oversee the banks and their ability to pursue borrowers after a default or a short sale. So if you're in a state like California, for example, on most first loans, they can't pursue you. A state where I live, Nevada, they generally do have the ability to pursue you, a process known as recourse. Your state is going to determine what the bank can do. Now, in order to get a deficiency judgment, they still have to sue you in a court of law, and they have very strict limitations how they can pursue you. So it's extremely important that you consult both a realtor and an attorney and a tax professional to determine what implications a short sale may have with regards to deficiency. Now, if you own a home here in Nevada, banks generally have six months to pursue you for a deficiency judgment. You're going to need to consult an attorney with the exact period that they may have, but that's a general rule of thumb that you can use. Now, if you do a short sale and you get fully released from your debt once you close, then you don't have to worry about any of that. Questions about deficiency judgments are probably the most fielded questions we get regarding short sales. Call the short sale division here at Shelter Realty. We'll go over in detail some of the issues regarding deficiency judgments. We won't be able to advise you legally. That would have to be done by an attorney. We're also going to recommend that you talk to a tax professional, but we're definitely a great place to start.